Dear students, uh, in my previous video about types of valuation multiples, we have discussed on equity valuation multiples and their formulae. Now, in this video, we will discuss on the other type of valuation multiples, that is, enterprise valuation multiple and the formulae related to enterprise valuation multiples. As you know, there are five different types of enterprise valuation multiples are there. Now, we discuss one by one with the formulae. Now, coming to the first one, under enterprise valuation multiple, the first type is EV to EV ITDA multiple, wherein EV stands for enterprise value, EV ITDA stands for earnings before interest tax, depreciation and amortization. To calculate this multiple, we use this formula, wherein EV to EV ITDA is equal to, if this ratio is equal to ROIC minus G divided by ROIC into WACC minus G multiplied by 1 minus DA into 1 minus T wherein ROIC stands for return on invested capital G stands for growth rate again ROIC stands for return on invested capital WACC stands for weighted average cost of capital, G stands for growth rate, DA stands for depreciation allowance and T stands for tax rate applicable to the company. So this is the formula we use in calculating EV to EBITDA multiple. Now move to the next multiple under enterprise valuation multiple that is EV to EBIT multiple and in this multiple we use the following formula to calculate the values EV to EBIT is equal to 1 minus T into 1 minus reinvestment rate divided by WACC minus G wherein T stands for tax rate applicable to the company. Reinvestment rate is nothing but at what rate the shareholders invest back the in, invest back the income in the company that is dividend payout whatever the payout is there and whatever the dividend retention is there that the retention amount will be reinvested in the company. And what is the rate of return the company is promising on the dividend retained by the company that is going to be reinvestment rate. Right? WACC stands for weighted average cost of capital, G stands for growth rate in dividends. So, this is the formula we use in calculating EV to EBIT multiple under enterprise valuation multiples. Now move on to the next enterprise valuation multiple that is EV to FCFF multiple also known as enterprise value to free cash flow to the firm multiple. Here is the formula we use in calculating this multiple that is EV to FCFF is equal to 1 divided by WACC minus G wherein 1 divided by WACC stands for weighted average cost of capital G stands for growth rate in dividends. So this is the formula we use to calculate EV2 FCFF multiple under enterprise valuation multiple. Now move to the fourth one that is EV to BV multiple wherein EV stands for enterprise value, BV stands for book value of, of shares. If the ratio of these two 
will be calculated using this formula. That is EV to BV multiple is equal to ROIC minus G all divided by WACC minus G. This is the formula used in calculating EV to BV multiple. So here is the formula used to calculate EV to BV multiple wherein ROIC stands for return on invested capital, G stands for growth rate in dividends, WACC stands for weighted average cost of capital, again G stands for growth rate in dividends. The last multiple under enterprise valuation multiple is EV to sales multiples wherein EV, EV stands for enterprise values. So here is the formula we use in calculation of EV to sales multiple that is enterprise value to sales is equal to FCFF divided by WACC minus G wherein FCFF stands for free cash flows to the firm and WACC stands for weighted average cost of capital and G stands for growth rate in dividends. So here is the formula that we use in calculation of EV to sales multiples. And these are the five different formulae we use in calculating enterprise valuation multiple in valuing uh, firm under relative valuation method.